Hi everyone, welcome in a new episode of my weekly show. Uh, I'm kicking off my week in Berlin and I think we will have some great news this week. Thanks for being here. Facebook is moving forward in copying Snapchat. They wanna, yeah, as they couldn't buy Snapchat, they almost want to imitate it and make sure they keep their users on the platform. And one of the new things that they will do is increase the value of the camera. And the camera has to become a more central spot in Facebook, so they will copy paste the geo filter system of Snapchat, and that's already active in a number of markets around the world as a test case now. The marketing buzzword of 2016 was without any doubt the bot. Uh, so I cannot end the show at the end of this year without an example of a bot. Um, Nordstrom is launching one this week on Facebook Messenger, and it's a holiday chat bot. So it wants to assist people in finding the right present and then they can buy it on Nordstrom. So you have to answer a few questions and then you will get a recommendation on which um, present to buy for your friends or family. Google is opening up its uh, assistant, virtual assistant to third parties, to developers, to make sure that people can program bots with the virtual assistant of Google and that you can have, um, or that you can start using a conversational interface to create something for your clients. This week, Bill Gates announced the investment uh, of $1 billion in a new invest investment fund called Breakthrough Ventures. Uh, it's not just a billion from Bill Gates, he's uh, also asking other entrepreneurs, other billionaires to invest money in the fund. And the goal is to create a fund that will invest in companies that want to create clean and cheap energy for the world. Uh, the difference with an other uh, VC fund is that these people are very risk aware and that they are willing to wait longer for a return than an average VC uh, because they believe that the market for uh, clean and cheap energy is just huge uh, but they also feel that the market or the world really needs clean and cheap energy in the next decade. So this is a big move, a uh, good initiative of Bill Gates and his friends. This is the item that pleases me most this week. It, uh, it's news from Finland where they are actually testing out the universal basic income, you know, the system where um, the government or another organization gives a fixed amount of money every week to, uh, every month, sorry, to uh, everyone in their country, basically, so that there's some sort of a freedom that you can choose what you can do. And it's also one of the systems that people talk about most when it's about how will we tackle the automation and the loss of jobs because of that. Well, uh, I'm very happy that there's a country now that is actually testing it out. So in Finland, they were doing a test with 2,000 people that they're giving an average wage of 560 euros per month to see what will happen with that. And I think we need more countries that test it out. So I'm really pleased to see that Finland is moving forward with that. Almost every week there is car news. Uh, again, this time about driverless cars, not coming from the tech giants, but from a traditional player. Uh, BMW is moving fast forward in this field. And next year in 2017, they're gonna start with a Uber-like service in Munich where they will use driverless BMWs to pick up clients in the ride-sharing service. Um, and they, they state basically that they, they probably will not be the biggest player in this field because probably that's already gonna be a company like Uber, but they wanna be one of the coolest brands in this space. And they see a first success in their ride-sharing services like in Seattle. Uh, and now they're going for the driverless version in Munich next year. Uber, as you know, they started out in Pittsburgh with their driverless vehicles. Well, they moved this test project to a second city. And now you can ask for a driverless Uber in San Francisco. Uh, just as in Pittsburgh, there's still people, engineers in the car because that's needed for regulation and for safety. Uh, but the testing area is getting bigger and bigger. There's an update on the Uber driverless car story in San Francisco. Uh, the state of California asked Uber to stop with those driverless cars because they don't have the right licenses and they need to be in order with the legislation first before they can continue. More driverless car stuff. Uh, Google is actually spinning out their driverless car division and they started a new one called Waymo in which they really want to go forward with it and start it like a separate entity. This week we had the first delivery by Amazon with a drone in Cambridge in the UK. They had their first delivery and it took them 13 minutes between ordering and delivery by a drone. So what was a dream and a fantastic PR project a few years ago is becoming reality just before Christmas this year. Also news about Instagram. They have searched over the 600 million users. A few months ago it was only 400 million. Uh, but because of all the changes, the instant videos, the uh, Instagram stories, basically copying stuff from Snapchat became or helped Instagram to become a much more popular platform than before. 
This was my weekly and probably it will be the last normal weekly of uh, this year. Uh, I started with this in February and I saw the number of views grow over the last few months. So thank you very much for that. I think it's fantastic that all together we can help to share this uh, message and tell the world how everything is changing. Uh, so thanks for that. Next week I'm gonna do a yearly of 2016 with all the highlights of what happened in 2016. So that's gonna be fun as well. Hope to see you there. Hope you're gonna share this one and I hope you will have a fantastic weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.